if I was like Seth Rogen putting out an album, I would probably be much more self conscious than I am as an actor portraying a singing pig. Did you have, like a, <laughs> did you have a vocal trainer though? I mean, how was Pharrell it? Williams was my vocal trainer. How was well, what did you learn from Pharrell? That I should stick to comedy. <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted to talk about like how you guys got involved in this in the first place. So at what point were you told that you would be working with each other? And what was the getting to know you process? Did you guys know each other? Did you guys sit down and like talk about this over dinner? We did not. We, we knew each other yeah. before. We've known each other for years and years. The comedy community is pretty insulated, especially <laughs> yeah. and small. If there's anyone else you find remotely entertaining, you latch onto them very quickly, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I it was my first question when John told me that I was Pumba was, who was Timon? And he said Billy, and I said, that yeah. sounds funny. Perfect. Yeah. Mm. Same with me. Yeah, as almost as soon as I found out I had it, I found out that Seth was Pumbaa. Uh, and I was very, very excited. And Seth sent me a DM on Twitter that was just 10 exclamation points. Yeah. <laughs> so that was our first communication about doing this together. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was perfect. How are the conversations... Like, how much did you guys create of these characters in your own heads, and how much did that change once you guys were in the booth? Like, how much did you play off each other, and how did that affect Timon and Pumbaa? I mean... My idea from the beginning was that John cast us for a reason. He could have cast pretty much any actors, like everyone would have killed to do these roles especially and to be in this movie. And I thought it wasn't really the right time to try a new persona. He was exactly. casting us. <laughs> yeah. he was, right. exactly. Hello. I mean, it would have been so strange if all of a sudden I had a very deep, you know, resonant yeah. baritone. Um, uh, so uh, I figured, oh, he wants Seth to sound like Seth and he wants me to sound like me or at least what our com our public comic personas sound like yeah. and hopefully they'll complement each other which which they did so I think our goal once we got in was not to try a new character but was to be as funny as humanly possible together exactly yeah, I mean, for, for Pumbaa, I, I, also we, we get different sides of the characters as well, mm -hmm. different aspects here. There's like, you know, the bullying angle yeah. with Pumbaa as well. So are you focused a lot on, you know, how kids are going to receive this as well? Because obviously with you guys, there's a lot of things that are obviously for adults and like mm -hmm. there's the self-referential stuff. Yeah. yeah. But how much are you thinking about how this will be you know, rubbing off on kids? It wasn't something that had yeah. even occurred to me until care. we were making the movie. And then uh, as, as I was performing the bully scene, I was like, oh, this is for kids. Because yeah. <laughs> I've never done anything that was ever trying to instill yeah. any wisdom into children in any way, shape, or form. And I never thought about kids once. No, never. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was uh, yeah, we did a Q&A last night, and it was all, I was like. I was like, why are there so many kids I know, it here? was shocking to look out in the audience and see children. Like, I oh, right, it's it the made me realize right, how right. that has never happened. Yeah. Happened to me before. I was like, it scared me at first. I do it for the bloggers. Exactly. Hey, I know. I, I just it. want very for Twitter. VITs. Very <laughs> yes. important tweeters. You yes. gotta get those retweets, man. I know. It's all that, that it's about. <laughs> what were the specific lines that were improvised that ended up in the movie? Can you think of any almost, specific Almost lines? everything that is not from the original yeah. film was improvised yeah. by us. Almost all of our spoken dialogue. Yeah, almost all Maybe of not all, dialogue, but, uh, but uh, fair uh, I'd say 80% of it. I uh, think that you're right about that. Um, there's entire scenes that, uh, like, the, the, the notion of doing a scene where Timon and Pumbaa kind of expound on their philosophy about the how there is no circle of life and yeah. life is her lines yeah. that never interconnect with one another that was all improvised and yeah. the, the idea of doing the scene came out of improv and then every line of the scene was just made up as we were doing yeah. it yeah were there alternates to the the Beating the Beast reference? Did you have like alternate ways that you'd use, I, use to distract I, I them? I think we did. Yeah, we, there we was had, a few of those. We had a ton of alternate yeah. jokes for everything, but that Beauty and the Beast reference that was all Favreau. That but was it John's came up idea. like in an like in a session, like he just kind of pitched it as a joke that uh, you know one of many that we were yeah. attempting. Yeah. What were the other ones that you tried for for that specific? I can't remember. I swear I don't remember. I honestly we don't. recorded so much. You it, could make four movies out of what we was not used. And Disney probably will. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna do smart one with their money. If, uh, if, they if want they're to, smart, they'll do one If they're one smart, they'll spend $200 yeah. million dollars on yes. that. <laughs> Did you bring that up with them? Like, hey, we're going to do one and a half, right? We'll, we'll see how this weekend anything. goes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try not to get kicked off this press tour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, is, how is singing for you guys? Um, that something I that actually grew up doing musicals and was a musical theater student in college. And so I actually sing a lot. People just don't know that. So uh, for me, it was really fun because I never get to do that professionally. And I got to do that. Yeah, it was fun for me. I'd never, I'm not someone who sings uh, professionally or has any training in singing. But 
Uh, I mean, a lot of the performance, again, it's very character-based. If I was like Seth Rogen putting out an album, I would probably be much more self-conscious than I am as an actor portraying a singing pig. Did you have, like, a, <laughs> did you have a vocal trainer, though? I mean, how Pharrell that? Williams was my vocal trainer. How was, what did you learn from Pharrell? That I should stick to comedy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, <laughs>